Welcome to those of you who are joining us for the first time, and welcome back to many of you who come. Visit my channel on an ongoing basis. As many of you know, we are refreshing ourselves at the beginning of this new year by considering some amazing poems and perhaps challenging ourselves to reframe how we look at our own lives and loves. The enchantment of poetry lies in its ability to capture the essence of our emotions and experiences in a way that no other form of expression can. It is a medium that transcends the limitations of language, allowing us to delve into the depths of our souls and connect with something greater than ourselves. And within the vast realm of poetry, there are certain works that hold a special place in our hearts, resonating with us on a profound level. One such poem that has always captivated me is How Do I Love Thee? Sonnet 43 Inches by the esteemed Elizabeth Barrett Browning. In this exquisite piece, Browning invites us to explore the multifaceted nature of love. She begins by posing a simple yet profound question. How do I love thee? And then she proceeds to count the ways. Each line is a testament to the boundless depths of her love as she describes loving her beloved to the very core of her being. She loves him not only in the tangible aspects of life, but also in the intangible realms of the soul and the ideal grace that exists beyond our earthly existence. Before I get carried away discussing the poem, let's read it and then we can consider it more afterward. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach when feeling out of sight for the ends of being an ideal grace. I love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candlelight. I love thee freely as men strive for right. I love thee purely as they turn from praise. I love thee with the passion put to use. In my old griefs and with my childhood's faith, I love thee with a love I seemed to lose with my lost saints. I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life, and if God choose, I shall but love thee better after death. Those words capture so much for us, describing love so fully that we can enter into her feelings with her. Browning's love is all-encompassing, reaching the highest heights and the deepest depths. It is a love that transcends the ordinary and embraces the extraordinary. She loves her beloved in the quiet moments of everyday life, in the gentle glow of the sun and the flickering light of a candle. Her love is not bound by societal expectations or constraints. It is a love that is freely given as men strive for what is right and just. But perhaps, what is most striking about Browning's portrayal of love is its purity. She loves her beloved with a love that is untainted by the desire for praise or recognition. It is a love that is born out of her own experiences of grief and loss, as well as the innocence and faith of her childhood. It is a love that encompasses the entirety of her life, from the first breath she took to the tears she shed. And even in the face of death, Browning declares that her love will only grow stronger. As we immerse ourselves in the words of this sonnet, we are reminded of the power and beauty of love. It challenges us to reflect upon the love that resides within our own hearts and the relationships we hold dear. Are we loving unconditionally and selflessly without expecting anything in return? Are we loving with the same fervor and intensity as we did in the bloom of our youth? Browning's poem serves as a call to action, urging us to make a conscious choice to love each and every day. It is a reminder that love is not a fleeting sentiment, but a commitment to show up for those we hold dear through the ups and downs of life. It is about loving with every fiber of our being, with every breath we draw. So let us take a moment to reflect upon the love that resides within our own hearts. Let us strive to love more profoundly to love with unwavering devotion, for it is in the depths of our love that we will find true fulfillment and joy. As we embrace the challenge of loving fiercely, we will witness our relationships flourish and our souls soar to unimaginable heights. In closing, 
I extend my heartfelt gratitude to you for joining me on this soul-stirring journey. May you continue to illuminate the world with your love and light, and may your own journey be filled with the enchantment and beauty that poetry brings. Until we meet again, may love guide your every step.